One of the things that we started doing from the last time that we talked to you in February is actually talking to numerous different organizations and how they actually value data and what key personas in their organizations are responsible for actively driving data decisions. But more important than the personas, because these personas of the data engineer, the data scientist, the business analyst, and the app developer should be more important than that was the actual touch points between them. Today, those are very disjointed sets of capabilities that happen within the organization. There were huge opportunities to be able to join the gaps that exist. So when you're understanding what kind of a problem you have and you're trying to curate what kind of data may be relevant and you want to be able to pass that to the data science organization to then start exploring and understanding and coming up with either specific algorithms or models that are applicable to that data and try to do that in a interactive way um, and be able to have that type of communication between the business and the data science organization. A lot of tools as well as the communication and organizational processes that exist actually fail organizations today. It is a huge area of opportunity of taking something from discovery to something that you want to be able to put into production in an organization and to be able to do that with very seamless tooling with very seamless set of capabilities. It is about an evolution of technology from where clients are today to where they absolutely need to be from technology, but it is also a cultural and organizational shift. There needs to be a culture that enables these data professionals in the organization to be able to collaborate, not only in tooling, but in the organizational aspects and in the cultural aspects to be able to drive towards more of a data-driven organization. The notion of being able to have intelligence infused in the decisions, um, either using automation itself machine learning itself and cognitive techniques is becoming a lot more prevalent. The reason that we started with the data science professional was because they end up being that fulcrum or that focal point for collaboration in and around the organization. They need to have deep expertise of the data, deep expertise of the algorithms or models to be able to apply to that data, and they need to be able to have the communication skills to then work with the rest of the three personas within um, that you see over here to be able to be effective um, at driving those type of outcomes. And then if you apply that to the rest of these personas that you see here, the data engineer, um, not only the data scientist, but the business analyst and the app developer, and you expand that then to a broader set of personas, you have something that hugely moves how organizations transform their thinking in around data, and you will see that that begs the need for a platform, a cognitive platform. When we talk about cognitive, we talk about four different things. We talk about the ability to understand. If you think about what it means to really understand data, the data types that exist, the relationships between that data, understanding is actually a very comprehensive process. The second is to reason. And this is not necessarily machine reasoning, but it's like reasoning of um, different technologies. Can you understand or based on history, can you start to um, reason what you're actually seeing? Can you comprehend the relationships between things and kind of what is actually happening um, within those capabilities? The third is, as you continually apply to different types of data sets and throw different data at it, you're gonna learn because it's probabilistic. You're gonna continually learn and transform either models or things so that your understanding and reasoning continually gets perfected. And the fourth is really about interacting. So not doing it in a very programmatic or structured way, but using things like natural language so you can very easily interact with these cognitive type capabilities. So when we define cognitive, it, not, it is not necessarily about the types of algorithms. It's more of the four principles. When you move from enabling to advising, you're actually moving even to augment some of the deterministic outcomes that you get from pre-programmed systems to the probabilistic systems that, um, that cognitive technologies enable. What we wanted to do was to be able to create an open and collaborative type environment that encompassed not just IBM, not just open source capabilities from Spark, but a very large set of ecosystems. You know, what you see within the data science experience and what we're gonna demonstrate is this foundation again that I call learn, create, collaborate. It's not just about an offering or a product anymore, it's about the surrounding community that you enable the people who are using your offering. You know, machine learning is that subfield that really gives computers the ability to be able to continually learn without being explicitly programmed to. Our goal is very simple. It is to make data simple 
and accessible for all people within the organization.